Well, another frustrating afternoon here at Bramall Lane, though in the end, I think there's a fairly persuasive argument that Sheffield United, with the chances that they created, were a little bit unlucky not to have won the match and a brilliant save from the Coventry goalkeeper in the closing minutes to deny Morgan Gibbs-White. But Coventry City perhaps getting the point that they set out to take in that second half, Rob? Yeah, certainly, as, as long as the game went on. Sheffield, obviously, United came back into the game, created pl plenty of chances, but then Coventry sensed that the point that they came for was achievable. Ironically, in the early stages, I think it was, what, the 51st minute, it almost looked as though Coventry were in for a penalty. And uh, certainly the players and the fans thought that they were going to get it. He's given a simulation in the end. Yeah, I can get I can get the dive on the uh, second one because he does dive, but it's the initial uh, probably contact from Davis on that yeah. one there that he senses he, he he goes down. So yeah, he's gone down and dived, but it's it's this one just there. There was contact, but was it a foul? I don't know. You know, you see them given, don't you? Mm. You've seen them given, but on this one, they like say Sheffield United got lucky. But United, well, they kept pressing, and you, you, it was it that Coventry, the further the game went, okay, they were giving ground and maybe accepting that a point was a good result, but they kind of started to get a bit laggy, and Sheffield United started to press. They had Morgan Gibbs White go close, and then David McGoldrick with a, a glorious opportunity. The chances just kept on coming. Yeah, the chances that McGoldrick gets there of being a striker of his quality, not hitting the target, very disappointed. Gibbs White, doesn't he? he does very well there. But yeah, you've got to start hitting the target from that. But I think taking off Giocares obviously played into Sheffield United's hands. They didn't, they didn't hold much up, did they? Walker and Godden. That allowed uh, Sheffield United to probably keep persevering at the back four. That was the six, 69th minute and McGoldrick really thought he was in and then we had Connor Harrihan with a, a shot over on 73 minutes. Again he, he created the opportunity and that actually was slightly deceptive, a wee bit, looked a wee bit closer maybe than it actually was. Yeah we were speaking about take more chances, take off shots, I mean that had, uh, the, the first one had more beaten. Uh, but then, like you say, if he parries those, those shots and you follow in. But you need to force errors in the championship. Everything was pretty much, uh, you've not done enough really to win a game of football, hence the draw. McGoldrick really was the, the danger man in that second half. You could hardly believe, I don't think, that the Coventry defence gave him that opening. That was in the 81st minute. Oh, sorry, I think that was in the 84th minute. Yeah, again, McGoldrick of his quality, very disappointing finish from himself and like, he, he, he likes to get in those situations and put those away or at least force a, a save or on target. He had time, didn't he? Yeah. And then, right at the end, we caught this from Morgan Gibbs-White. What a terrific save that was from Simon Moore. Yeah, excellent strong hand there and uh, on, on another day it can, it can fall into the path of a strike but on this occasion Moore's done, done enough uh, to, to do his uh, side of the justice. How many times have we watched this season and thought, you know, a case of what might have been? It's again a draw at home, oh, Sheffield United happy with it, there's positives in the second half to take on from it but overall the way you start games, the way you go through them and you've, you've just watched Coventry play pr uh, in front of you, you probably don't deserve to win the game. So you've not lost the game is the main thing. We talked about the hope of getting nine points from three games. Well, we're already two down on that with Bristol as Reading to follow on Tuesday night and then on Sunday uh, lunchtime next week, Bristol City there are the games coming up. We're with you for the 8 o'clock kickoff on Tuesday and 12.30 on Sunday. It really does, Rob, become doubly, doubly important that United kick on from this and somehow find a way to take these chances that they were creating in that second half. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think Kevin spoke before the game. We were, we were looking through rose-tinted spectacles about getting the nine points. So seven into 
probably eat how they come you don't mind but two more wins from that they're quite capable of, of beating Reading and Bristol but like you say more intensity more more uh, application of how you start in games well let's hope it can be done you can follow us here on SUFC live and the presenters on Tuesday will be Paul Walker and Ashley Wilmot next Sunday but for the time being from me, John Rawling, from Rob Kozluk, and also our regular commentary team. It's good afternoon from Bramall Lane. The final score, Sheffield United with a nil-nil draw against Coventry City.